All right, so hi, my name is Teja, uh, and today we're here to have a panel discussion regarding the government and its role with regards to the media. Uh, more specifically, the, the topic is going to be the government should more strictly regulate the media during national emergencies. Uh, and so today our panelists are going to be Fida, uh, Mohammed, uh, Kamran, and Mehdi. And uh, so do you have any opening thoughts on the topic in general for anyone? Okay. Uh uh, for example, I think that um, government uh, shouldn't more strictly regulate the media during national uh, emergence. Because uh, as uh, we know about the First Amendment, that there is a freedom of press. Freedom of press, it means that uh, government uh, never regulate the press. Uh, and uh, the press in media, they write uh, to people, not uh, the uh, to not give the government to correct the, the mistakes or something and after people. Uh, I think that it, government shouldn't regulate the media uh, during the uh, emergence, national emergence. Okay. I, also, I also think that government uh, shouldn't regulate, shouldn't control the media because if they will uh, control the media, will not uh, will not have a change in our country in government, and I think that um, it it can uh, it can just uh, uh, just control if the people don't want to see uh, something like this after after the edition of a newspaper or journal, and that's all. Uh, in my opinion, uh, the government uh, should not uh, regulate the the press. Because uh, there are uh, the the people should uh, know what happened in the the other country and uh, should be 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 carefully about this uh, subject. Yeah. I agree about what they said, but I think that uh, the government shouldn't make any law that stop the media. But there must be some limit for that. For example, while we're talking about uh, when the where there's a civil war in that country. And the New York Times write about the secrets paper for the government and uh, the president um, Mason. Uh, president Nixon. 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 President Nixon is, is <coughs> closed the newspaper because it was the and it was in a war, and and any word make the uh, the 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 make it swords. So, but there's. Must be some limit, but it have be completely free. Uh, you said that uh, it opened New York Times opened the secret of country yeah, government, and uh, it means that government can't control their service. How the government control the press? I think that uh, New York Times had the right to write uh, about the secrets of government. She had the right to write what she want, but it, it wasn't in a good time. She, she just look for time and place to write what she wants in it. Okay. So, um, personally, I, I've, I have the position that, you know, the government should regulate the media when it can prevent panic or death. Mm -hmm. And so, I think we should uh, focus on, like, what exactly does it mean to strictly regulate the media? And so, I mean, how, what, what does that mean to us? As in, should, is that, does that mean that the, every media article that goes to the people has to pass through the government first? Or does it mean the government, uh, takes a, an action or to punish the media after it does something untruthful or uh, something that would cause panic. So what does strictly regulate mean? I think that government must uh, not punish. For example, they can close this newspaper magazine for months or for week, and uh, then as a, as a journalist will have the responsibility uh, to not write the things which can be the reason of uh, panics and something like this. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm also think so that uh, after edition, uh, government if they are wrong news, uh, it uh, uh, correct and if they are wrong news, close the uh, close this newspaper uh, or some magazine and uh, uh, after uh, after that uh, they would lose this company will lose money and I think uh, in the future uh, this company will not make this mistake again. Okay. So you think that, um, so what Mehdi and Kamran is saying, uh, from what I understand, is that it should be up to the journalist's discretion mm -hmm. uh, to determine whether or not what they're saying is truthful. And so the government shouldn't have a role of punishing the media. 
And so does strictly regulate then mean the context of uh, every piece of media that goes to the people must pass through the government? Is that what strictly, regu strictly regulate is about? Uh, strictly means strong regulate. Right. Power. Having Sweet the power. Power, over. yeah, control. Having the control of the yeah. media. And so, um, so normally, ordinarily, we reach the conclusion that no, the government should not. Should not. Should not. Should not. Yeah. But uh, the, the topic is about the national emergency. So what would be a few national emergencies? Let's just list those off and see uh, if we can determine whether or not the media should regulate in those specific ones. Uh, there's uh, three type of uh, emergency program, natural, natural uh, disease and uh, economy. It means national emergency, it means, for example, uh, earthquakes, uh, wars, uh, for example, flood, okay, no. uh, uh, it may be environmental problems, uh, I think they, all of them is uh, examples of national emergency and in this case uh, government must uh, regulate the uh, press. Must regulate the press? Must. Mustn't, okay. So Cameron's saying there's there's one big you know type of national emergency that uh, is you know natural disasters and so the government shouldn't regulate that and why shouldn't they? Because uh, uh, people have right to know uh, about everything, uh, what happened in the place of this uh, disaster or uh, emergency place there. Mm -hmm. And it also can save uh, the life of people if there are some uh, emergencies. Um, yeah. Is it possible, however, to cause more death by informing everyone because of the panic that might that might happen? But I think that uh, everybody uh, will know about this. But uh, uh, it's good uh, to know in, in, in the time, in this time, what, when it happened. For example, maybe uh, somebody have their relatives and uh, he wants to know what happened with them, uh, what happened in this place. I want to add uh, something about uh, this uh, issue. We should the the, uh, the press uh, know the, what happened in the in this place. To the people should uh, make some. Uh, careful about uh, I want to uh, for example travel to some place and this place some uh, disease like malaria like uh, AIDS we should uh, be carefully about this place and we should the press uh, tell the people about what happened in this place yeah I think that's right because the government is cho has chosen by the people and she act what they want so the first she's not, she it's she doesn't have to hide anything about the nation because uh, they have the right to know everything. And to, for it, it, to know everything, I think that it's security of our people. For, for as Muhammad said that, for example, aid will go for example to uh, Africa, their malaria, uh, and we must know about it and uh, to to to, uh, to for security ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you say that the the press or the media shouldn't be regulated because of a, our, a security issue, but let's talk about uh, another example in which uh, the media regulating the security would actually help help security. For example, like during a war or a terrorist attack, would it be yeah. better to regulate the media? No, it's not be good. Uh, we should have no other things. For example, you have you were in your house. If there's someone come to you and to you, there will be a man. He will come and kill you and kill your family, what will you do? You will leave your house and go far away. But if there's no one tell you about this, you will die. You will lose more lives in this war. Mm -hmm. for, for example, the media give us the chance to ha w live a normal lives without any things. Mm -hmm. To spread the news. To spread yeah. the news. So is it possible, however, for government to use the media to spread news? Would that be okay? In in far in in during a war or a crisis situation, should 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 and so why should why shouldn't the government use the media? I, I use the media. I shouldn't use the media. Uh, for example, uh, it's a uh, uh, mass of uh, government and our, ma our people and government. It's between government and people. Uh, for example, what uh, something we, for example want petition to our to make a petition to our government, uh, we use the. Uh, press to say something to uh, government, and government also use the press to say something to their people. Mm -hmm. and okay. Yeah, government also use the media, should use. Okay. But not use it completely yeah. during the crisis. Mm -hmm. And because your enemies can 
uh, get some information about your work and, uh, and that's why and they must know what to write I think that they must study uh, the university where they must uh, they teach them uh, what do they should to write uh, for example when the war when the national emergencies I think that we should uh, I think uh, the school and the uh, high school and the uh, university should uh, study the student uh, to learn uh, what uh, what we should do in the in this uh, national uh, emergency like a war and uh, like a disease what we should ha uh, do uh, b during this uh, war or this uh, disease run or sit or like this yeah. okay so what about when uh for example the media being unrestricted could give away uh things about the war to the enemy for example like in uh in the iraqi conflict in, from the united states in uh, iraq there was an american media uh, journalist who managed to give away american troop positions because he was he was uh, broadcasting his uh, his report do you think that should be regulated during war uh, i think that uh, it uh, must be regulated but uh, with this company with this uh, for example there is a slow center journalist and he must uh, the company must uh, check uh, is he a good journalist for the uh, or for example who can give the uh, american side uh, to, to the enemies, I think it uh, must not government. Uh, the company must regulate their workers, and uh, the, if there was a, there will be a mistake, and I think then government uh, uh, must uh, close or make something with this company. Right. So is there is an instance so then that we that uh, uh, Kamran believes that we should have uh, some sort of government regulation on the media when the companies can't. Uh, fulfill their social responsibility. Yeah, I think it means that uh, if uh, some journalists made mistakes, eh, it means that uh, government, uh, this uh, company eh, can't regulate their service. That's why uh, government must regulate this company, uh, close or make something with this company. I think that the media is the eye and the air for the nation around the world. So it should have no everything, but have it around the world. Good journalist can write good things, and now everyone will be know what happened around me. I will not be planned anymore because there's some people work for us to know to make us know everything around us. As a result, with the with the some uh, journalist take some uh, uh, fact about like in uh, in Iraq uh, say something uh, what happened like killed some uh, soldiers uh, American soldiers the government of USA I think to uh, get uh, this uh, soldier it and uh, that uh, this uh, journalist and uh, say him uh, why do uh, why do not uh, say something uh, wrong like uh, he uh, he tell the fact of how many soldiers uh, killed, like three or two. But the real, uh, the real uh, number of the soldiers is like uh, ten or twelve soldiers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what about another type of national emergency that we might come across? Uh, uh, for example, um, uh, an another emergency for uh, nuclear radiation, nuclear weapons, uh, terror acts. Volcano, maybe. Uh, that's an interesting one, actually. A nuclear uh, radiation yeah. is an interesting national emergency. Uh, for example, like the Chernobyl disaster yeah. in Ukraine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, how does that? How is, should the media react to something like that? I think they must <coughs> inform the peoples about these. Uh, for example, uh, the peoples didn't know much about these. Uh, this nuclear ra uh, radiation in which happened in Chernobyl and they bring the fruits from this place this area and the fruits were uh, were very big uh, big in very big size and they think that we will um, we will uh, sold, uh, sell it and we'll um, get much money 
but when they heard that uh, they have uh, radiation and they bury it into the earth uh, in order to not uh, to to not uh, in spirit uh, spirit this radiation in Azerbaijan for example and I think that media can inform the pupils about about all things uh, which about all emergencies uh, which happened so uh, mm. also it's uh, for it's for our uh, security that uh, if we'll know uh, about Chernobyl uh, um, what happened to Chernobyl we'll buy the products which brings from the uh, around the, this place uh, and it it's the polluted uh, things I think fruits for example polluted and we'll buy them and eat uh, and we'll be uh, some well we'll have uh, some illness and it's for our security to know. Right. So it's for, for everyone's well-being that everyone know about these things. Yeah. And so so let's talk about one final type of uh, national emergency, for example, an economic emergency or an economic crisis, uh, where the more people who know about the emergency, the worse the emergency gets. For example, a, a stock market panic, uh, everyone starts selling their stock, and the more people who know that this is happening, the more people who sell their stock. And so the worse off the economy, uh, or that one uh, particular area of the economy becomes as people keep selling. Should the media be able to tell everyone about that? Yeah, I think yeah. Should. You think so? Yeah, I think it should. You think it should, yeah. even though it's going to cause an economic uh, uh, downturn. Yeah, because it's our country. Uh, we should know about uh, everything about our country, uh, except for example, historic historic geography and about economy. We must know. Uh, it's for example somebody for example in, we are in the USA and somebody ask about our country uh, we will say that we don't know about anything for example economy of our country that's why we should know about it so Chris. the information should be more important yeah. than uh, because I know that uh, Kamran earlier was talking about security and uh, so what what is more important than is it the the ability to have the information or the ability to have the security because uh, we found that in one instance, like the economic example, security and information are at odds with one another. So uh, I think uh, it's also uh, security in this case also, uh, because uh, they wish they uh, can, for example, somebody having a conscience, she can sell some uh, thing to uh, more expensive, uh, and I should know also about the prices. Of, uh, in uh, our markets, for example, uh, that's why uh, uh, for uh, press uh, can make, uh, for example, they must challenge us, and press uh, uh, don't let uh, them challenge us, for example. And also, I think that it's also security. I see. Does anyone else have anything to say about that one? About security and uh, um, and information being at odds with one another. Uh, Kamran makes a good case for saying security is, in fact, in the information, even if it is an economic downturn. Do you think that's true? Yeah, I think that's true, because all uh, all peoples in the country must uh, have information uh, about what happened. Uh, uh, is um, even it's uh, uh, it can uh, it can and get, uh, it can influence um, bad uh, to the economic. Uh, it can make economic uh, if it's about the uh, if, even it's about the economic panic I, can, uh, so I think that the journalist must write all things um, because all people have right to know all things which happen in their country all right. yeah. but the ethics must be the first things it is truth of the information we have because they the information was then tried, it will make many, many say words to say about it. So it will be most things good that if you write something, it will be good or truth. The truth is first. Yeah, like that.